love is your host. Joy, how you doing, fine lady? What's happening this evening? It's Friday, ladies and gentlemen. Everybody looking forward to the weekend? Everybody interested in uh, all the wonderful things? What's up, Rach? How you doing? Is everybody ready for the weekend? You got big plans? My name's Jimmy Ninetoes. This is the Skull Mafia. You're tuning in to Get Wise. This is where we get together and we talk about things that edify each other. Howdy indeed. Some might even say howdy duty. She is me. I'm beautiful. How about yourself? You got big plans for the weekend? Nerd boy, how you doing? My friend from my west. How you find folks this evening? You ready for the weekend? You got big plans? You're going to be shopping? You're going to be doing things? Spending time with your significant others? Simone, how you doing? Morning. Welcome, morning. This is uh, Jimmy Ninthos. My friend, uh, Pencil by Jim, told me you're tuning into a scope. Not you, uh, were well, very nice. Good to meet you. Tonight, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to talk about a story of woe and tragedy. A story of treachery. Tragedy. Treachery. Tragedy. And four or five other words that I don't know how to pronounce. Was you got an imp- got import after me in the room. Ah, okay. That's what's up. Sorry to hear it. Saturday should be spent in wonderful ways. Tonight I want to tell you a story of a little capo. A little capo thought he was a boss. Alright? And this boss, wannabe, thought he was in for a penny and in for a pound. And as he grew up in the organization, quote unquote, or company as I like to say, since I'm a legitimate businessman, the men and women around him pushed him and forwarded his objectives. Now, this little capo, who thought he was a boss, he got a little too big for his britches, all right, after he achieved a little success, all right, went through his head to start to swell, you know, he put some ice on him to take care of that, but he didn't do that. This guy, he was different, he thought he was something else, thought he was something special. So, in conversations, he started to bug out, started to judge those around him. This guy, because he's too big now. His head isn't right. He don't want to do the work that's necessary to expand. Expansion is important in my line of work. If you don't expand, you contract. And if you contract, you die. Alright? So, the little capo, he doesn't do the work. Everybody else is doing the work for him and making him grow. He's benefiting from it. But he doesn't want to put in his fat share because he separates these things. Alright? Be careful people who separate that. So once he separates these things, he starts feeling special. Like people should be doing these things for him. Alright? And when you start feeling special, that's where the problem lies. Because remember, folks, nobody's got to do nothing for you. Alright? Just because they're your friends, don't expect it. They do it out of the kindness of their heart. So, this little capo thinks he's a boss. Boom. My bookie, sorry, forget about it. My bad. So this little capo thinks he's a boss, right? He gets too big for his britches. He takes his friends for granted. He does all these things. And then all of a sudden, he drops out. And he doesn't want to talk with any of them. Nothing from him. Everything's okay, according to him. And then we find out there's a rat in the mix. This rat, he didn't take appreciation all the wonderful things these friends did for them, these hard-working individuals. So, the moral of the story is, he became excommunicated, and by that we mean, all right, this moral of the story is sometimes you gotta cut off a limb to save a body, sometimes you gotta take care of a rat to save the house, and sometimes those of you think you're friends, not so much. Get wise, ladies and gentlemen. Pay attention to those in your lives who treat you right, you treat them right. 
All right, think about the youths. Treat them right, be good to them, and if they're not good to you, get rid of them. Peace out, ladies and gentlemen. That's my story for this evening, for this Friday night. Jimmy Nine wishes you a happy weekend. Stay tuned for Pencils by Jimmy. Be on with Sketch Club here after a bit. About 8 o'clock. What's up, my friend? You're, you're catching me on the way out. Be sure to watch the replay, though. Thank you for stopping by. Peace out, folks. Get wise. Till next time, tell your mama said I.